I want to put my Senseo coffee maker away for a few months in the attic, but I don't want the water in the boiler to get disgusting while it's up there. This also works if you're afraid it's going to freeze in storage if you're a snowbird, or if you want to mail it to somebody because you want to share this amazing coffee pot with them. So you just have to get inside and drain the water out of the boiler in the back. So the Senseo doesn't have any screws that put it together and it's pretty easy to pull apart. You just have to get the top feet up a little bit to get to there. That piece that fell off is just the nozzle that fits on the overflow tube in the back. This whole thing rather easily comes off. This is the boiler and it stays full of water all the time. And so all you have to do is clip this little zip tie that's around the bottom tube. Um, you pull the bottom tube right off and the water will drain right out of the boiler. Try not to mess up the hose when you're clipping it. I've just got a pair of Dykes wire cutters. Pull that right off. Now I can wiggle this hose off, all the water drains right out because it has a vent in the top, and then I put that back on and wrap another zip tie around it. Gotta go drain it at the sink though. Okay, I pried the tube off and drained out all the water. In order to get the tube off, it's a little bit difficult um, because you don't want to yank around on all the electronics and jerk the plastic pieces around, so I just took my wire and trippers and put them right at the top and just pried down like that and the hose came right off. All the fluid inside the boiler begins to drain immediately. So if you take the machine and hold it like this, the water will drain out right into the sink without falling on all the electronic components. Now I want to leave a little bit of time for it to dry inside so the very last drops that are in there work their way out. So I'm going to put it back together later. But all I'm going to do is take a regular wire tie from Home Depot like this one make a little loop, push this back up on there. I'm gonna draw the wire tie tight, and then I'm gonna just trim the end of the wire tie off with the wire nippers and put the machine back together and it'll be ready to go. And you can keep it in storage for as long as you want. Um, also, while I was draining the tank, I ran the descaling process. So I ran the scaler through the machine just to make sure that everything inside there was sterilized and the person who owned this before me didn't leave any crud in it. And so it's now clean, sterilized, it's going to be dry, and I can put it away for as long as I want, um, and it'll be ready to go for whoever uses it next. Thanks. Hope that helped.